What's going on guys? David here, Diecast Life and Death. Back for another rousing episode. So, here's the question. And it's the question of the day. And if you'll oblige me, because I would like to hear from you guys about this. So I've noticed something. That the, you know, the peg hunting videos where they're all like, oh, what's behind this? Oh, shuffle through the old shiffer box. What? What's under the shelf? Those videos get tons of views. And, you know, look, I get it. We all want to see, hey, what's out? Who's getting what? Where is it hitting? You know, so maybe it's educational. Maybe it's, you know, letting you know something's out there that, you know, you didn't know was released yet. I don't know. That's what I'm looking for answers down here. But, and the reason I'm talking about this is because I watched a video the other day. And it had been up for 24 hours and had gotten 1,532 views. So, well, I watched it and it was 30 minutes. 30 minutes of you know, it went from three Walmarts to two Targets to two Dollar Generals and one Family Dollar. And you know what the take home was? Zero. Nada. Donut. Zero. Nothing. Look, not that that's unusual. Because we've all done it. We've all gone out on these hunts, on these little quests. But, and we've come home with zero. I know I have. So I can only assume you have too. But that's not what I'm asking. The question is this. Why did I waste 30 minutes of my life watching a video that came home with absolutely nothing? No information, nothing to show. Just, it was like I was, hell, I could have wasted my own gas and gone out. But I digress. But that's 30 minutes of my life. I won't get back. Yeah. But. So. This happened. So this was Tuesday. Well, I mean, you know, I don't care what day you're watching it. But I'm filming this on a Tuesday. And I went out on Friday. Because I had to go to the old Walmart. Not for peg hunting. Because obviously you don't go to Walmart at 1230 in the afternoon to go peg hunting. Because by the time 12.30 in the afternoon rolls around, there's nothing but bones, you know, left on the old pegs. But, so this day, Friday, 12.30, I had to go pick up a couple of things. But, you know, as we all do, you can't go into a Walmart to get something out of the gardening center or out of the grocery aisle without at least, you know, checking out the old pegs. And I did. And so I... But rewind just a hair. So I've talked about Leonard before, a local friend of mine here. And he's a prolific, and I mean prolific hunter. The guy, you know... Well, he doesn't have to be to work till 8.30 in the morning. So he goes out and he opens one Walmart over here and then finds whatever's there. And then he zooms over to this other Walmart over here and then zooms over to this other Walmart over here. And then by that time, he zooms back to the target before eight o'clock and opens the target at eight and goes in there and finds whatever's there. Got it? Okay. So now that that's all been said, yeah. you know, my chances of finding you know, a lot of new stuff is kind of, you know, diminished. But he doesn't take everything. He takes what he wants. And, you know, supers, I mean, he, he's not leaving supers, but, and he doesn't leave treasure hunts either. And so this is where this kind of goes wonky. Yeah. So I walk over to the old, you know, pegs and... This Corvette is just hanging there. Okay, so you say, well, yeah, it's, you've seen them probably hanging too. It's the old F case. Okay. 
Nothing, not big deal. Nope, not a zero zip. But I started to see a pattern because these were on the pegs. And I haven't seen, but but when the day that I got mine, I have not seen, you know, these just laying around. Grab one more of these little Hondas. You know, it's neon. You couldn't miss it. Grabbed three more of these little, you know, Honda Civic EFs. Slide. Okay. So what are you getting at, Dave? Well, I, I'm not sure. That's why I'm, yeah. Then, there's four of these little guys hanging there. Okay, so nothing, you know, earth shattering, right? Yeah. Because, I mean, Leonard would have left some of these, yeah. But then, I got this Godzilla. Nope. Got two Godzilla. Nope. Got three got zero. Nope. Nope. I got five got zero. And I left some. Oh, so, you know, I start thinking, well, he had to have hit it. He had to have hit it. Or Leonard, you know, that's what I'm saying. He. So, but in my finding, this little donut drifter was sitting there. You know, the old treasure hunt. Nope. So was this mod rod. Another treasure hunt. Nope. So was this mod rod another treasure hunt? And Leonard doesn't leave treasure hunts. And so was this mod rod of the old treasure hunt. So I, I texted him and I said, hey, I shot a picture of all the stuff and I said, um, are you okay? Thinking maybe he was sick and he didn't get to the store this morning. And he texted me right back and he says, where did you find all of that? And I told him, I said, well, I'm at the Walmart on Sherwood. And he goes, none of that was there this morning. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, are you guys seeing any strange hours in your, you know, neck of the woods on drops? Because I know this is odd, right? Maybe they're short on employees and they didn't work toys out before they opened the store. I don't know. But this is highly unusual for me to find in, you know, in a Walmart when I got, you know, Leonard out there hitting the stores, you know, religiously every morning. But it was a great, you know, hey, we all get good days sometimes. I got lucky. And it, 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 yeah, it doesn't end there. So, I'm working on building a diorama. You know, it's just a little add to the old display here. But I had to go by O'Reilly's. You know, the old auto parts store. Because I needed some spray adhesive. You know, and at Hobby Lobby, you get a little, you know, little thing of spray adhesive for a lot of money. But I went to the auto parts store and bought a lot of spray adhesive for a little bit of money. So, yeah. So I go into the old, hot, you know, the O'Reilly's. And on the front peg, because you know they only have three, four, or five Hot Wheels, at least my stores. Maybe a random Matchbox or a random M2 here and there. 
But, you know, nothing you got to go rifling through. And lo and behold, this, this quick bike was just sitting there on the front of the bags. Five treasure hunts in one day. I guess all I'm trying to say is, guys, you know, I try to stay positive in this hobby. And I try to make positive videos. You know, something that shares a little something. Something to show, you know, hey, there's stuff out there. If you guys are feeling down, don't. There'll be days when you find everything you want. Now, with all that having been said, none of these, none of these are staying in my collection. I grabbed all of these to go as, you know, gifts in box exchanges or, you know, when somebody mails me something and I mail them something, you know, I'll add some of these to it. Because, I mean, I don't need another quick bite. Got one right there. Actually, I got two open quick bites because I forgot I opened one. But that's what happens when you get old. Whoa, do not run into my Mercedes. That is precious cargo. But, guys, like I said, I try to be positive and I try to, you know, help you all out. Because, you know, when you ride around in someone's car in a video for 30 minutes and they come up with donuts, well, at least... I came up with a donut, and I didn't make you stare at all the people's feet, you know, in the dirty floors of the stores. Guys, noses to the ground, eyes on those pegs, stuff's coming. You got to stay positive. Positive thoughts bring positive results. Guys, I got a couple of mail call videos I got to do, and I'm a few videos behind, and I know, yeah, I'll work on it. But guys, until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind, and stay persistent. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Bye.